Hey guys, how you doing? So, React versus Vue in 2023. Which one is best? In this video, I'm going to give you some details and we'll come to an actual conclusion. All right, let's just jump into it. All right, so I wrote a little article on the old Killer Sites blog. Sites have been around since 1996. Anyway, React versus Vue in 2023, which is best? React and Vue.js are both powerhouses in the JavaScript world today, but which one is best? Let's start off by looking at some interesting stats. This is a piece I put together just recently. So React JS basics. React is a library. React uses JSX, MIT license, meaning you're free to use it on any app. Don't worry about it. Used by many Fortune 500 companies. Runs fast, reusable components, good dev tools, so it's easy to work with. Leverages a virtual DOM that allows for much better performance has a wide variety of tools and libraries. Vue shares many of the same qualities as React, the, uh, the interactivity, uh, the libraries, reusable components, and so forth, but there are a few key differences. So let's look below, we'll get into it. So how popular is React though? React is the most popular and the most used JS library out there. That said, Vue isn't that far behind. We'll see some stats below. And it continues to grow. In many ways, though, Vue is very similar to React. Reusable components, virtual DOM, variety of tools, etc. With a few differences. Uh, Vue is a framework, whereas React is a library. So the Vue framework works with JavaScript, HTML, CSS, whereas React is JSX only. Uh, Vue is very easy to get started with, very easy to integrate into existing projects. Not that React is super hard, but Vue is known for being pretty easy in that regard. Uh, Vue has a superior documentation over React. This is not to be underestimated. One of the key differences between successful open source projects and not so successful is documentation. That's a huge thing. React has good documentation, but because it changes a lot, apparently the docs fall behind what's actually happening in the React world, whereas the Vue community seems to keep more up, keep those docs more up to date. Popularity, React versus Vue. React has a far wider adoption. Nearly 12 million live sites use React, whereas nearly 2 million use Vue. Does that mean there are many more jobs in React? Yes, but how many React developers are floating around versus how many Vue developers? When you're looking at the market, you can't just look at the raw jobs. You have to look at how many people are actually in there chasing those jobs. So there may be 12 million live sites and a lot more jobs, but if there's that much more React developers over Vue, you might be better off doing Vue and just in terms of jobs. I don't know, you have to look into the data and it's also very much geographically uh, determined. So in some parts of the world, there may be a strong React presence and other parts there might be a stronger Vue presence. You see that in any tech really. So React jobs versus Vue jobs, according to indeed.com, indeed's a very big uh, job site. There are about 70k React jobs open and about 10k Vue jobs. So React does have many more jobs. Again, how many developers are chasing those jobs is key. I don't think job-wise you can go wrong with either though. So don't let that be the factor that determines which technology that you would adopt. I'll get into that in a second in the conclusion. Salaries are very close as well, where React devs are listed at around 80K a year and Vue devs are getting around 85K. Again, don't let that small difference in salary influence you. So in the conclusion, I'm going to get into now, this is what you should be looking to do. So both React and Vue are valuable to learn, have plenty of jobs, good salaries, and they're, they're good technology. So what should you choose? So I write here, I think it would be wise to learn the basics of each just so that you know what they are like and more importantly, you will be able to gauge when using one or the other would make sense as each has their pros and cons. You're going to find, you're going to find that for certain jobs, React might be better and other jobs, Vue might be better depending on the specifics of the job. And this is, again, something I preach in, in whether it be uh, libraries, whether it be frameworks, whether it be programming languages, whether it be operating, operating systems, it really depends on the circumstances of the project. I think that all these technologies are neck and neck overall, and the choice of one or the other, there's many 
variables that play into that. My suggestion is that you spend a little time learning the basics of each. So what do I mean by that? So I go, don't go crazy trying to learn everything about them. Just do enough to be able to do a little more than hello world. Just get a feel. So get a feel for React. Spend like maybe three, four days on it after you know your fundamentals of code, HTML5, CSS, CSS JavaScript, understand request response model, get that overview that's so important, those fundamentals I talk about. And then spend three, four days, do a YouTube video or just go to the documentation on Vue and do three, four days, install it, configure it, see how it works, play around with it. You know, three, four days, you know, no more than 10 hours of work into it, you know, feel it and then go to React, do the same thing. And then you're going to have an idea of what each technology does. Um, you have at least some inclination where one might be strong versus another. And then when a job comes up that makes sense to consider one of these technologies, Vue or React, you will be able to uh, make that choice. Angular is also another option, although Angular, I haven't looked at version three. That's the last one I I've seen that's out, maybe, I don't know if they're at four now, I think they're still at three. Uh, that might be an option, although I heard it's a little complex. I don't know, uh, personally. I looked at it years ago and I went, yeah. So, you know, we use, uh, on the Studio Web platform, we use Vue, partly because it's integrated already with the uh, MVC framework that we leverage. So, there you go. In the end, you can build great apps with both, so I wouldn't lose any sleep over ch choosing, trying to choose one or the other. It doesn't really matter in the end because if you're competent in your fundamentals depending on what comes up in terms of your work or opportunities you'll just learn that other library here's another added bonus i should mention is that uh, when you learn react for example first or you learn view first you will find it much easier it will be much easier for you to learn the second library because although they're different libraries there's some similarities there so learning the first will be harder then learning the second, no matter which one you use. There's other advantages, I think, with React, perhaps. There's React Native, uh, which apparently is superior to the view options with regards to creating uh, native mobile implementations. Both of them can do PWA, PWA, progressive web apps. If you talk to React people, they're going to tell you how it's amazing and everything else sucks. And you talk to view people, you might get the same response. Although the more advanced developers will tell you what I'm telling you now is that Depends on the job, depends on the circumstances, and there's also just personal taste as well. Some people like Audi, some people like BMW, some people prefer Porsche. Depends, you know, they're all they're all interesting cars in their own right. Some, you know, each with their pros and cons. Which one you choose depends on you know your personal choice. So, for example, in, I live in Montreal. Our roads are terrible. Personally, I wouldn't get a 911, although I think it's a beautiful car. I think it's probably the best sports car ever made. It's also a little small for me. I'm 6'2". I find it's a little cramped for me. But I think it's it's the best sports car. But on the roads here, you're much better off with an SUV because our roads are just terrible. But anyway, there you go. I hope you found this useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. And I run the Uncle Steph Bootcamp and Mentoring Program where I teach people not only the fundamentals of development, I also teach them how to think like a pro developer and much much more. It's a unique boot camp because I teach you development, I teach you project management, client management, freelancing, entrepreneurship. I teach you how to manage your brain, manage your mind, and so much more. It's really unique. Uh, I just, it's designed to basically transfer my decades of experience as a professional developer and uh, on tech entrepreneur to you guys. So you don't have to spend 15, 20 years figuring this stuff out. You get it from me in a short period of time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.